everybody, it's Brian Clark with Yankees On Demand presented by AT&T. We're getting ready for the Yankees weekend trip to Tampa where they'll wrap up their six game road trip with an AL East showdown against the Rays. This is the third meeting of the season between the Yankees and the Rays and after a choppy start for the Bombers, they've had smooth sailing past Tampa Bay. The Rays took two of three from the Yankees in the opening series of the season in Tampa, but in their second meeting in the Bronx, the Yankees took control, sweeping the three-game set. In their six games this season, Yankees pitchers are averaging 11 strikeouts per game, and the offense is averaging more than four and a half runs per game. They're outscoring the Rays 28 to 18. Lately, the Yankees lineup's been powered by the dynamic Dominican duo of Starlin Castro, Gary Sanchez. Castro is putting together a career year. The 27-year-old leads all of baseball with 55 hits, and he's tied for the major league lead with 18 multi-hit games. He's hit safely in 32 of 38 games this year. The biggest key to his success at the plate? Patience. He's seen nearly four pitches per plate appearance, the most in his career. And when he gets on base, he's scoring runs. Castro's 30 runs are second in the American League, trailing only teammate Aaron Judge. Numbers like that are a big reason the Yankees were able to keep rolling with Gary Sanchez on the DL. But now that Sanchez is healthy, he hasn't missed a beat. The Yankees starting catcher is batting 357 with a 471 on base percentage and a 524 slugging percentage since returning from the disabled list. In those 11 games, he's driven in eight runs. And Sanchez has done plenty of damage away from the Bronx. Of his last nine home runs, eight have come on the road. Sanchez and Castro are just two parts of a Yankees lineup that's firing on all cylinders. The Yankees are averaging 5.79 runs per game. That's tops in the American League. And before Thursday night's loss in Kansas City, the Yankees had scored at least seven runs in four consecutive games. Their plus 59 run differential is second best in the American League. For some perspective, the Rays have the second best number in the American League East at plus 17. Luis Severino starts Friday night's opener against fellow righty Erasmo Ramirez, who makes just his second start of the season. It was a short last outing for Severino, who didn't complete the third inning against the Astros. His pitch count climbed quickly, which has been rare this year. But despite the bumpy start, Severino still boasts a 4.7 strikeout to walk ratio. That's sixth best among starters in the American League. Saturday, it'll be Masahiro Tanaka trying to bounce back from a tough start last time out against Tampa Bay's Matt Andrews. Tanaka gave up eight runs in an inning and two-thirds against Houston, and the Yankees are hoping Tanaka can get back to his April ways. He closed out the month, allowing one run over 16 innings. CC Sabathia takes the ball in the series finale against Chris Archer, and CC did bounce back in his last start. With his cutter working well, he threw six and two-thirds scoreless innings against the Royals, earning his third win of the year. The Yankees moved to six and two on the season in games started by the veteran Southpaw. It's an opportunity for the first place Yankees to put some space between themselves and an AL East rival. We'll see if they're up to the task this weekend in Tampa Bay. For Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T, I'm Brian Clark. You can see more Yankees On Demand and Yankee scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there.